Have you ever bought whiskey from a company, you tried it, you get it home and you're like, holy crap, I love this whiskey from this distillery or this brand or wherever it comes from and you fell in love with it like immediately. Yeah, we've done that a few times. What well, keeps happening? Yeah, yeah, it does. We like, we buy one <laughs> bottle and then we're like, oh my gosh, that was such a good yep, bottle. Yep. Let's buy another one. Let's buy another one and let's buy another one. And before you know it, we've become so obsessed with that brand that we just keep buying more and more and more. I don't know about you, but there are like a few in particular right now that I'm really in love with. We got four brands right here on this table that we've just fallen in love with and just keep buying bottles of their whiskey. And these are not heritage distilleries. It's not your Wild Turkey, it's not your Buffalo Trace, it's not your Heaven Hill. It's just damn good whiskey. The first one on our list is one we actually fell in love with before we even got to do a barrel pick, which, oh, that should give you the answer. Barrel pick, rare character. Rare character. This is just a couple of bottles we have. Uh, we have more we bottles than this. all on the table. Yeah. But yeah, rare character. And we recently had an opportunity at a whiskey event to meet Pablo. Um, I think he's a co-owner. Yeah, co-owner. Of, of Red character. He is a character. So Pablo <laughs> yeah. is an awesome person. Yeah. If you ever get a chance to meet him, he will brighten your smile and brighten your day, and you will learn something new. But yeah, there's some damn good whiskey, and our pick. Shameless plug. Our pick. Yes, this beautiful bottle right the here. The average drinker pick. <laughs> it, it's just. I, I don't think I've had anything bad from them. No. They're just all really good, and I hate wax, but. The wax looks really good on these. <laughs> it looks awesome. I do hate wax. I'm like, yeah. why do you guys keep putting wax on them? But it makes the bottle stand out. Yeah. It is a great marketing tool. So do that. Keep doing it because it looks beautiful. Needless to say, we love Rare Character. And it's one of the brands that we're quickly becoming very obsessed yep. with. Yep. And they recently started distribution in Colorado. So that sucks for us. <laughs> you mean our, our wallet? wallet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Let's go on to the next one that sucks right. our wallet up. Ne next one. <laughs> so this is one that Ben Holiday, you've, you've been hearing about it all the time. We we made it out to the distillery. We've gotten a bunch of different samples from some uh, some friends of them, different single barrel. I think this is, this is not a single barrel, um, but they're just really good. This is the Rick House proof that we got at the distillery. This is one of their cave collections that we got at the distillery. Um, we have a couple other bottles over there of the soft red wheat, the the was it the the, the regular uh, bourbon. Yeah, the regular bourbon. They're just really good and doing good stuff out of Missouri. And it's so unique and it's so cool for us yep. being from Missouri. Yep. Like we're both from Missouri. We're both from different parts of Missouri. I would love to do a Ben Holiday pick someday. Yep, at some, at some point. And speaking of picks, bum, bum, bum. we're gonna get rid of those and bring out our next uh, thing. We, we really love and wanna buy everything we find of them. Oh, we are, are not the only ones that do this. Cause I have- What are these? This is not all the bottles. <laughs> these are the Evernorth. This is the rye one, the bourbon one, and this is American one. All the ones. <laughs> you just brought out all the ones just so they would yep. be all the ones. But we have more bottles of these and we're so excited for Dan and Sean and for mm -hmm. what they're doing. And I can't wait to try some things that they're blending and experimenting with. And yep. I mean, I think it's just proof that you can, yes, you yeah. can contract a still, you can source whiskey, you can do all these things, source barrels, whatever. And you can come up with a very great, unique product that fits your brand and who you are. Yep. This is from Indiana. This is from Maryland. This is from Iowa. All kinds of different things. Another thing that we're really excited for that's coming out of Ever North is our barrel pick. Yeah, there'll be one, a single barrel, another single barrel, like these three right here that says the average drinker somewhere on it. I cannot wait for that. <laughs> so we're going to Michigan. We're gonna do that. We've told you guys about this before, but if you're watching this after that, sorry, but we are going at the end of April, 2024 mm -hmm. to do this. And so if you guys are interested in trying to figure out how you can get a bottle or how you can learn more, go to our Patreon, become a member. You can become a member for as little as two dollars a month so that gets your name on our videos and it's really awesome we also have really cool behind the scenes content and other things that we're doing we try to give back as much as we can to our community as well as like give special access so be sure to check out our patreon and if you guys have not subscribed yet be sure to hit that subscribe button what are you doing hit that subscribe button hit that like button thumbs up ding ding hit that bell <laughs> notification leave us a comment and yeah that would be awesome. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Now, let's move on. On from Ever North, on to our fourth brand over here. I wanted here. to say Ever South. I would have said, and now. <laughs> on to our fourth brand. You gotta give me some time because I gotta I gotta pull out some bottles over here. Oh, 
And just because we didn't pull out this many from the other brands, oh. we just have a lot of this oh. that we've bought really fast. Coming. Oh, there's more. And there's more. And there's more. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. There's there's a few here. This is a fast <laughs> this is a I, fast obsession. I think we fell in love with Barrel King. <laughs> Barrel King. Minorly in love, but no, yep. majorly in love. We love Barrel King. Oh my gosh, what they are doing. What? Another Missouri place? This, they're out of Bourbon, Missouri, of Bourbon, all places. Bourbon, Missouri. I think that's freaking awesome. It is sourced. Yes. It is sourced. I think all these are MGP. But they're finish the way they're finishing, the way they're blending, and now they've got ADHD whiskey blending for them as their master blender and their chief tasting officer. So freaking excited for Matt. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And so what they have is they have a, a club, which we, we've joined. We, we've bought all of these, but one of them with our own money. We'll go into that one in a minute. But uh, we bought all these, we joined the club, and it's 125 a month. You get a bottle with that 125, and then it's like 20 bucks shipping. And I think it's shipping 20 bucks up to six bottles or something like that. Um, and they get discounts on any bottle you buy after that one. So it's it's a pretty cool thing. And I think you get the gift every six months. Yeah, we you get some we, swag. We haven't reached that six month period yet. Uh, don't say that. We have all these Shh. bottles in front of us. Shh. We've been members <laughs> for a very long yeah, time. Well, no, that's not three true. of these, we have a Junkies pick and two Matt picks back here. The rest of these are all, the, all these front ones are all club bottles we have bought minus one. And what is that one we did not buy? The one we did not buy, which is one I'm so excited to. I just actually cracked into it. It's in this glass right now. This is Matt Porter's very first blend for Barrel King. Yep. His very first blend for Barrel King. And I think that is so special, but they sent it to us and I'm gonna do a review on it really like very soon. So stay tuned, probably within the week, but yep. I can't guarantee that. So this is batch 81, Matt's blend here is batch 81 and it'll be in the April uh, club bottles. If you guys want this bottle or you're interested in joining their club, just go to barrelking.com, I yep. think that is. Barrel King, I think it's barrelking.com. If not, Google search it. Yeah, just to Google <laughs> search Barrel King. So I'm really excited to share my thoughts on this bottle in particular because I've loved the other bottles so oh, yeah. much and I'm sure this one is going to be- Like this. Oh my gosh, that the chocolate one. Don't, don't Show that it's, sold, it's sold out already. It doesn't matter. No, this one. This, <laughs> that one's sold out too. Oh, that's my but favorite. This is a cherry chocolate no, stag. that's really it's good in too. The, this was one of March's, March's, March's. The bottle in March? <laughs> yes. This, this thing was, oh, I want more of this, it's, but it's all sold out. It's literally like a chocolate dessert bomb that still yeah. tastes like bourbon that is not over finished, the, that you actually still taste the whiskey. The whiskey shines through yeah, it. Yeah, they're finishing with these and X. Willet or Stag or Heaven Hill bottle or barrels. Ugh, it's so good. It's so good. Yeah, so we love we love what they're doing at Barrow King. We're so excited for them. We're actually gonna try to get out there in April sometime, yep. check them out. We're gonna go there and visit. So we'll share what we can. Fingers crossed do some recording out there. That would be <laughs> awesome. So all right, well that's really all we've got for you in this video. These are just brands we were excited for. We were excited to share with you like what we've fallen in love with lately. That's not like the typical, right? Like we always see the, you know, the Jim Beam, the Jack Daniels, the Heaven Hill, the Buffalo Trace. And this is just something that we've fallen in love with that I really think like overall, these brands are gonna start to really, really take off soon. So Rare, Rare Character already has, and they're, they're all starting to take off. Yeah. And I'm excited to see what's in store for all, all four of these companies. Yep. So let us know your thoughts on these. Do you love some of these brands too? Have you tried them? Are you excited to try them? And what are some of your brands that you've seen out there that you've tried that maybe we don't talk about, but you're really excited about? Let us know in the comments. And that's all we've got for you today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Dara. I'm Bill. We'll see you next time right back here on The Average Drinker.